I'm going to address a video by this gentleman here. This guy's name is Kenny Jacobs. Um, I've been following Kenny for quite a while, uh, the last three or four years. Watched most of his videos, especially the, the ones from 2015, 2016, and now this year, 2018. And Kenny's a great guy. Um, Kenny is sincere, uh, really loves the Lord. I'm totally convinced that... Um, you know, he's trying to do the right thing. Uh, but he and I have gotten into it occasionally on his channel because I challenge him. And in his mind, I just want to argue. But and maybe that's true. I, I don't know. But I, I certainly do want to make a point. And it um, seems like every time I try to make a point, you know, he blocks me and stops me from making it. And so um, in this particular video, he addresses uh, one of my arguments, and that's why I want to do this video because I want to I want to answer him back and you know allow this discussion to continue uh, versus you know these guys having you know basically the floor all the time and anytime somebody comes along and challenges them they just block them. So Kenny, I'm gonna um, I hope hopefully you guys take this in the right spirit. I, I'm not here to beat up anybody or make fun of anybody. But I am here to point out the error um, and at least to give people another viewpoint out there that they should consider. So here he is. He's going to call me out personally on, on a challenge I gave, and then, and then he's going to go through his, uh, his different points, and I will address those. Um, Somebody's been giving me a hard time saying that I'm misleading people by talking about current events and Bible prophecy, and that... Every time we talk about Jesus returning and then he doesn't return, we lose credibility and people don't want to listen. Well, again, just because Jesus hasn't come back, it doesn't mean he's not coming back very, very soon. Okay, I mean, he makes this point a couple of times, and of course, obviously, logically, yeah, that that's true. Just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it will not happen. Uh, no, it doesn't mean he's not coming very, very soon. That That's really not not logical. Just because the sun hasn't exploded yet doesn't mean it's not going to explode very, very soon. See, it, it just doesn't make any sense. But be that as it may, Kenny, you're not really addressing the issue. What I said was, you don't know when Jesus is coming. Nobody knows. You will even admit that you don't know. But then you turn right around and say that it's going to happen soon. My point is, you don't know when it's going to happen, and so you need to stop this false alarm stuff constantly. Now, I want everyone to notice that May 28, 2015 is when uh, he posted this video. Folks, that's coming on three years ago. I guarantee you, Kenny did not think we would still be here in 2018. In fact, I can show you videos where he says, hey, you know, We've got months left, guys. I'd be surprised if we make it to the end of 2016 and 2015. Um, as 2015 went on, Kenny got more and more and more excited. Um, and he list, listed on and on things that were sure signs of the end. Pope Francis visiting the United States. Blood red moons. Super moons. Um, FEMA camps. Uh, you know, just... Ad infinitum, all kinds of things that were absolute sure signs that we were absolutely, and those are his words, absolutely, at the end. And all I was saying to him was, Ken, you, you don't really know that, and we should stop preaching that because we continue to be wrong, and you're destroying your own credibility and that of the church or of other Christians. Why should anybody listen to us when we keep saying that the, the end is near and it's not? I got a better idea. Preach that everyone's life could come to an end at any moment. Or you could even still preach that Jesus will come at any moment. Just don't say that it's going to come in our lifetime or soon. That's date setting. The Bible is very, very clear about the signs of the times and we're told to watch. Uh, no, we were not told to watch. The early first century Christians' disciples were told to watch for the destruction of the temple that would come in their generation and the coming of judgment upon Jerusalem and apostate Israel. That's who was told to watch, and they were given specific 
time frames to look for him, this uh, event to happen, and it did happen. We know that from history, and we also know that from the Bible. So no, we in 2018 and 2015 were not told to watch, and it's clear that you were wrong. So quit saying that all the Bible signs are clear when you guys keep getting them wrong. If they're that clear, we would all agree with them, Kenny. I wouldn't be having this conversation. Clear signs are clear signs. Everyone would agree with them. Okay? That's what a sign means. <laughs> so it's not a sign if you personally have this, your own personal interpretation, private interpretation of what something means. Okay? And, and, and here's another thing. You know, you, you guys are out there every day, hundreds and thousands of you guys on YouTube and Facebook proclaiming thousands upon thousands of times a day this sign or that sign is a sign of a prophecy coming to pass. How can that be true, guys? I mean, how many prophecies do you think there are in the Old Testament? <laughs> you know, and, and, and not, to, not, to, not to belabor this, um, but I want to I wanna jump forward to, um, to minute 15 here and kind of go through something he talks about as one of the clear prophecies coming to pass before our very eyes. He is the only source and only hope for this world, only source of salvation. With that, let's get into a few news stories. Out of uh, Times of Israel today, Prime Minister backs Arab Peace Initiative with caveats. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the Arab Peace Initiative suits Israel's interests in principle, though the proposal's details require tweaking. Uh, he says the framework is outdated and contains many issues that every Israeli would object to, such as, a, such as an Israeli withdrawal from the Golan Heights and right of return for Palestinian refugees. However, as a general outline for a future peace accord, it is not objectionable to Israel, he says. The Prime Minister reiterates that he does not want a binational state and supports the two-state solution. He says that before the election, in the interview which he said no Palestinian state would be established on his watch, he was asked about the likelihood of the event, not his position on it. Netanyahu says he is not seeking to control or silence the media as charged. He says that as acting communications minister, he wants to create greater competition and maintains his prerogative as prime minister to focus personally on certain issues. That's actually not even related in the same story. Forget that. Uh, okay. But again... Okay, basically what he said was he read a story from May 27th of 2015, coming on three years ago, where Netanyahu basically was open to the idea of a two-state solution. That's basically what that article says. The Arab Peace Initiative... Uh, Netanyahu says, in, in principle, he agrees with that and is right. looking for a two-state solution. Let's nothing go to Daniel there. chapter 11 real quick, because I had somebody tell me, I've had more than one person tell me, there's nothing in the Bible about a two-state solution. Uh, let's go to mm. Daniel 11, verse 39. I'll, I'll go on record right now. There's nothing in the Bible about a two-state solution. This is talking. This is a prophecy. has not been fulfilled yet. Okay. About the Antichrist. Daniel, chapter 11, verse 39. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. Yeah. There is a division of Israel coming in the two. Okay. Kenny, in, 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 <laughs> in the Bible, when it talks about dividing things like that, it's, it's like a thief will steal something and then divide the spoils. You know, people will come, armies will come in and steal a, la a land and divide it amongst themselves as spoil. That's what this is talking about here. This is also talking about something you said has never happened yet, and the Antichrist is going to do this. If, if that's true, he's going to take the entire land for himself and divide the spoils for his own gain. That is not a two-state political solution. Divide here in the Hebrew is... Um, halak, okay, C H A L A K A Q, halak, which is used to describe, you know, plundering something. It sounds like the guy is going to come and take over the land and plunder it and take it for himself. That's not what's happening. Nobody's plundering anything. Israel is sitting down at the negotiating table and saying, okay, we'll give up stuff if you give up stuff. I mean, that's what the two state solution thing is all about. It's about a political agreement, it's about a, um, uh, a, a negotiation. That's not plundering. And, and so my point in this is, you say that, that that article you just read was prophecy coming to pass. 
okay, prophecy coming to pass, show me the scripture verse where it says that the prime minister of Israel will support a peace proposal that involves dividing the land into two, into two countries, and that's a, that's a prophecy. Show me that prophecy in the Bible. Okay, it's not. But you guys are constantly creating new things that are supposed to happen that will eventually lead to things that you think are in the Bible. And then you say that those things are, are prophecy coming to pass. <laughs> if it's not a prophecy, then it's not coming to pass. So quit saying that. It just doesn't even make any sense. You guys have mountains of prophecies that are supposedly coming to pass today. Mountains of them. Where, where does this end? You know, so just a great example of, of taking the news, creating something out of nothing. Three years later, here we still are. Netanyahu is still kind of saying the same thing as he said back then. Nothing has moved forward. And you wonder why you're criticized for continuing to make speculative uh, 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 predictions.